Gun safety is the, probably the biggest part of owning a gun. Before you even pick up a gun and load in that round, you need to go through some type of class describing gun safety and how to be safe. What they normally teach you is point the gun in the right direction, make sure it's on safety, uh, make sure a round isn't in the chamber, blah 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 blah. That is what they, the basics of them teaching you. Now I have my own gun safety theory that that they do tell you, but I don't think they um, they emphasize on too much. Well, at least when I was taking my gun safety course, they did not really emphasize on this point. And the point being that if there is a round in the chamber and your gun doesn't have a safety like this pistol right here, your finger needs to be rested on that trigger guard just like this. Now when I did my gun safety course, they touched on it for about five seconds. They're like, oh yeah, make sure finger rest it on the trigger guard until you're ready to shoot and put it in the trigger. Now, the reason why I think putting this, putting your finger on the trigger guard is so important is because the only reason a gun goes off is because of your finger. Yeah, there have been those instances where the firing pin hits the bullet and then it goes off for some odd reason because you're shaking the gun like crazy or whatever reason, but probably 80 or 90 percent of the time the gun goes off because of this finger right here. So as long as that finger is not in the trigger guard, it's not going to go off. You can be pointing it at your truck, your friends on accident, and it's not really going to be that threatening if your finger is rested right here. Yeah, your friends are going to be like, dude, what the fuck, and die for cover. So I just wanted to touch on this just because I thought it wasn't em emphasized enough when I took my gun safety course, so I hope I can help you all out in the future with your gun safety. So y'all have a nice